previously in War on the Sea, Operation Watchtower. The fortunes of war appear to be in our favour for the time being. We have successfully taken command of the Malaita Islands and denying it to our enemy. The battleship North Carolina's task force has turned its attentions to Guadalcanal, bombarding the port and airfield to ruins. The Japanese forces on the island are scrambling to repair the airfield and bring it back into operational status. The battleship's group will remain in the area to cut off any supply lines and prevent the Japanese forces reinforcing the island. We are preparing to get boots on the ground and will continue to ferry troops and supplies until we're able to secure Guadalcanal and then look to rebuild the airfield as a priority. Command has given approval to commission our first aircraft carrier which will grant us access to the Dauntless dive bombers and air domination if we use it correctly. The following action takes place between 1pm on the 25th of September to 10am on the 27th of September 1942. Okay, welcome back everyone. We're here at 20 past 1 on the 25th of September 1942. And um, yeah, we've got some Task Force 15 here with our uh, cargo ships, etc. Escorted by two destroyers, Dewey and Dale. They've just loaded up on troops and uh, supplies and they're coming up to uh, drop those troops at Guadalcanal to uh, begin the strike. However, we do have troops on some of the troop, uh, some of the ships on Task Force 29. If we have a look at Guadalcanal, they have got a level 1 port, so we are going to just get those guys coming this way. We've got that light cruiser heading, that survivor from the previous battle, heading out back to base for repairs. Rennell Island are ready to launch fighters once again, or aircraft. Good, right. We are good to go. Now, can we have a shore bombardment? Thank you very much. That's got rid of the port. Nice. Now, we've got some troops here. More troops coming up here. Let's drop these. Um, can we unload all cargo? Boom. So we've dropped a minor force of 850 marines. Uh, onto the island. You can see smoke is bellowing up from the port now where that um, conflict is going. They've got um, enough supplies for the moment. Uh, where did this airfield come from? Uh, can we... It's a bit dangerous with guys on shore, but... The airfield's gone. Good. It didn't seem to affect our troops. Let's get them back for rearmament. Meanwhile, that group is coming up. We've got the Task Force 24, the two subs who are patrolling the, uh, the, the mouths to these two straits, basically. Hopefully, they're going to keep us safe. Um, so, as they move off, let's keep an eye on the fight. Obviously, we've got minor foothold at the moment. We need to get these ships up here quickly. Oh, and we've got some will look to be spotter planes for the Japanese forces which usually come from capital ships which is a bit worrying meantime of course um, I've been reading your comments as some B-17s land back at um, New Hebrides I've been reading your comments thank you very much for all those um, yes lots of comments regarding the aircraft carriers uh, some of you recommending going with um, the cheaper but more susceptible to torpedo WASP class carriers. Um, and there's a lot of votes for the Yorktown and the Lexington. So, um, Meanwhile, at 8 minutes past 10 in the evening, this group has made it back to uh, Rennell Island. There we go. I can barely find it. Let's rearm. Now, um, yeah, Lang is badly damaged. North Carolina's got uh, minor damage, nothing much to worry about. Uh, Casey's got some damage. Hughes has got some damage. Benham is badly damaged. And Rowan's got some damage. So I'd like to release some of these uh, destroyers. I might send Benham and Lang 
If I can uh, split that group. Benham and Lang, I'm going to send you back to New Hebrides. They can be released and repaired. Basically, we'll, we'll you know they'll go for repairs, but we'll have to buy them back. Um, and they can be the makeup of the group around um, the aircraft carrier that we purchase. So we've still got what we've we got. We've still got um, three destroyers in this group, four destroyers in this group. So that's okay. And just before 3 a.m. on the 26th of September. This group, Task Force 15, has made it to Guadalcanal. Let's, um, sorry, one, one. let's uh, unload all cargo here. Nice. And we'll get them guys back to Renal Island. We now have uh, 3,600 troops um, fighting the good fight and 3,360 uh, supplies there. So we'll get, we'll go. I got the airfield back. Bloody hell! How much resources have they got banked at this this um, island? I don't know. Um, but yeah, we're gonna. What we've got troop wise. We've got six thousand three hundred. We've got loads of supplies here. And at seven o'clock on the twenty sixth of September, one of our spotted planes has spotted a group of ships coming in. You can see them just on the horizon there. They look to be uh, two destroyers, two probably heavy cruisers, and some merchant ships and three three oilers, three merchant ships. Ooh, well, I think we can send our task group up to say hello to these guys. Obviously, bringing in supplies, troops, and munitions for the defence of Guadalcanal. But um, let's see if we can ruin their day. Meanwhile, our bombers, uh, where are they? They are, they're just over here apparently. My Mark 1 eyeball once again is letting me down. This aged old Mark 1 eyeball. Um, fair enough. Ah! Is that them on the horizon there? I can just about to see shadows. Okay, there they are. Easier to see now. We've got the um, Nippon Maroos and the merchant shipping back there. And here we got the military ships who are running. They're turning and running. Two destroyers leading the way and we've got two heavy cruisers. We've identified them as an Eboa and a Tone class. So I think... Why don't we try and slow the one of these cruisers down with this wing? Uh, normally I would try and get these two to fight at the same time but these guys are on fumes and they need to go back and they're not going to be uh, around when the ships manage to catch them up so I think we'll um, we'll dive down and have a go at this one, which I think is the Eboa oh we've lost one the other two are oh we've lost another one but they're diving away Four torpedoes have been released though. Two hits, two were too far forward. Going too fast, but we got some heavy damage to that um, heavy cruiser. And two of our aircraft running away. Uh, low and fast. Let's see how the damage is on this um, Aboa class heavy cruiser. And confirmation after the end of that attack. Uh, we lost two aircraft. Um, we shot down four of their um, Zeros. They had a scout plane in the area as well. And the Aboa has moderate damage and moderate flooding. Allow these guys to uh, quickly catch up then. Okay, at 25 minutes past 10. Uh, one of our spotter planes has spotted another Japanese group moving in behind the first. The first one is running away with all the munitions. And there we are. They're dead ahead. Where are they? Oh, hello. That's a battleship. A heavy cruiser, a light cruiser, two destroyers. Now, we just happen to have some B-17s coming to this area as well. Now, do I divert the B-17s to have a go at this battleship first? Or do I 
maneuver my surface fleet to have a first pop at this. I want to can chase the tankers and the merchant shipping, get some commerce raiding and stop them um, resupplying Guadalcanal. But okay, the story is getting more complex. A short while later, a third group has been spotted on the horizon. Two heavy cruisers, two light cruisers, two destroyers. If they merge with that battleship group, that will be quite formidable. Yeah, okay. We need to bring our subs down to engage as well. I've got the two Avengers refitted with torpedoes from Rennell Isles and I've sent them up here as well. Hopefully we can time them in an attack with the B-17s. Hmm. We need more guns. Okay, our two Avengers from Rennell Island have rearmed and they've made it back into the location. And this is where the battleship was last reported to be. Oh, there they are. Okay. Let's um, get ourselves a little bit of room away from them. To see them to begin with. Yeah, we'll just get out of the range of their guns and uh, start to dive down, get ourselves into position. Now, the good news is we are not alone. We've got some B-17s in the area, so we're going to let them um, get to this location as well. B-17s are low on fuel, <laughs> as always seems to be the case. They're right on the... Uh, operating limits here. Okay, here are our Avengers and dead ahead we've got the B-17s coming in, making their attack run. So this flight is attacking the battleship. This flight will be attacking the heavy cruiser. We are going to follow up with the battleship once they fly over so we'll hit them at the same time. coming in. Torpedo hit on the battleship. B-17's coming in. Right, have hits on the heavy cruiser. Now these three are coming for the battleship. A little bit higher than I was expecting to be. As the remaining B-17's do it evasive maneuvers and dive low and fast to get away. Um, one torpedo hit and a couple of bombs onto the battleship and nothing much to report. She looks absolutely fine. The heavy cruiser is smoking but again it doesn't look like that was too much for her to, uh, to take on. We'll see if a fire breaks out but um, yeah I think they got away with that. Confirmation at the end of that uh, the Congo battleship had minor damage and minor flooding. And the heavy cruiser, Megami, repaired all damage. Meanwhile, below the waves, Bluefish and Cod are patrolling around Guadalcanal and they have spotted something. It's one of the groups. There it is. It's a heavy carry, a heavy cruiser, I think. Um, oh, it's two heavy cruisers, two light cruisers, and a destroyer. Okay, bring up the HUD. COD's in a more advanced position. Right, we've got confirmed the two forward looking ships. Was it very easy? There is. Uh, they look the same. They look like um, Megami heavy cruisers. And we've got um, a Sendai and a, a Tenru. I don't know, light like cruisers behind. And a couple of destroyers, which we haven't identified at this point. Uh, we're targeting the heavy cruisers, obviously. Um, what are we doing? doing four knots let's slow down so they don't hear us um, COD is obviously far more advanced than us we've got 99% solution on Megami let's do a bit of a spread 2% spread fire so you know anything can go hopefully they'll hit the light cruisers behind if not 
And once those torpedoes are parallel with COD, we will fire COD's torpedoes as well. Meanwhile, Bluefish. Meanwhile, at the Mogami, torpedoes inbound. Hopefully they've run out of that anti-torpedo heavy cruiser paint. You can get 50% strike rate. There we go. Three to four torpedo hits. I'm happy. And she's got another round of torpedoes coming in now. Anything that slips wide, hopefully, will be picked up by one of the others. Fifth hit. Okay. Okay. We're not being so fortunate on this one. Sixth hit. That should be that heavy cruiser gone. Seventh hit. Yeah, she's dead. Uh, unfortunately. I was going to say, un unfortunately, they all hit the targets, which is great. I was hoping for some uh, run wide so we could get some of the other cruisers. Yeah, she's gone. Okay. The destroyers are coming in, so COD is not going to do a rearward attack. She's she's diving down. And the klaxon goes to say that heavy cruiser has been sunk. Let's just try and get our subs out of here alive now. As the heavy cruiser roll off. It's going to roll over then. You can see torpedoes coming in up here. And we've got the destroyers hunting down COD. Oh, things are looking a little bit hairy for COD. She's diving. But is it going to be enough? Uh-oh. That was close. damage to the rear. Repair crews are on it. And as we're stationary in the water, unfortunately this may be the end for the COD. More depth charges coming in. Right. Um, I think. Come shallower. Engines are knocked out, unfortunately. Oh, this could be the descending doom of our poor crew. Oh, yes, damage there, definitely. Flooding in the command room. We are dropping down. Oh, my goodness me! The cod has been destroyed. And it's a sad day, the loss of our submarine COD, sunk for 2,410 tonnes. However, she did not go down without a fight. She took out a Mogami heavy cruiser, 13,000 tonnes. Meantime, Lang and Benham have made it back to um, New Hebrides, and they are going to be uh, released and repaired. Good. Now, we can start making our next grouping. We have 193 command points. So, um, it's time to start ben spending big. So, Yorktown, Lexington, as a lot of people say, oh, you know, either, either, or. Um, we could get the Enterprise, the Big E, Yorktown, the Hornet, and of course, in the Lexington, we got the Saratoga or the Lexington. Um, hmm. Should we get the Big E? Come on, everyone wants the Big E, don't they? So let's get the Yorktown Carrier Enterprise. Four hundred and twenty, and oh, it's slightly cheaper as well, which is quite nice. So let's get the uh, Enterprise. To escort her. Um, I've had a lot of calls. She needs to be paired with with an Atlanta class to get the anti-aircraft fire. Um, so we get the Atlanta. Oh, we've got loads of names. So let's get uh, the Atlanta. I'm at 18. 
138. She'll need a couple of destroyers, no doubt. Okay, there we are though. We're going to in a circular motion with the Enterprise in the middle. We've got the Atlanta and San Francisco on either side and we've got... I'll show you actually. Uh, Atlanta and San Fran on either side and we've got the destroyers doing a screen around them. Nice. Let's get this task group heading straight up. We're not, we don't want them to actually engage in, in battle, but if they come up to Renal Islands, uh, we should be able to send some um, aircraft to this area. Meantime, these growers have regrouped with more troops and supplies, and they're heading back to Guadalcanal to help the fight. Uh, airfield starting up there as well. And in the early evening sun, guns are switching. There is contacts on the horizon. Not sure who yet. Okay, we spotted them. It's a heavy cruiser, light cruisers, and two destroyers. Nice. Okay, they're opening up. Um, can we see our ships? Probably not. No. Okay, we're going to keep this kingfish around here just to keep the... Um, ships in sight and help help with our solution hopefully oh I can already see that they've opened up and they're already bringing the water up in front of them so we'll get all the cruisers to target the heavy cruiser and the destroyers to target the uh, oh, we've got two light cruisers as well so maybe we'll split our light cruisers to start targeting the cruisers as well say early days yet they're still building their solutions up but so uh, yeah they're making evasive maneuvers and they've spotted us up here so we'll just um, probably skirt away a little bit so you can keep them in sight but not come under too much anti-aircraft fire. Okay, you can make out the ship's silhouettes on the horizon there. See the winking flash of the guns firing. Smoke is coming up from one of their light cruisers. Shells oh, scared the heck out of me. Coming landing around the um, heavy cruiser. So they were coming this way, to we're gonna cross their teeth. They now have turned. Uh, so what we'll do, we'll head up towards them behind them to try and um, keep their so they can't keep all their guns broadside to us basically. That will open us up to these destroyers, torpedo runs. So, oh, I think the heavy cruiser is also suffering a bit of damage. Is that the light cruiser burning behind it? That could be the light cruiser burning behind it. From on high in the Kingfisher, we can see the light cruiser is getting his fire under control. Heavy cruiser. I think that's actually a smoke screen, isn't it? They've put smoke screens on, but um, they failed to realise the wind is going in the opposite direction, so than they want to. So it's not actually blocking the the aim at all. But that fire looks to be under control. Can we see our ships off in the distance? No, we can just see the blue-white flicker of the guns firing on the horizon. that 
that shells will be inbounds. And unfortunately they were able to speed away. They are far quicker than the North Carolina with her minor damage. She can only manage 20 knots. Uh, so that group was able to run away. Um, the 10 Ryu light cruiser got moderate damage and minor flooding, but that was all. And at 5.01 on 27th of September 1942. Um, let's just get some um, aircraft in the skies because uh, we've got some ships coming in. So let's get them up over here. Uh, we'll also get them from here as well. Let's get them ooh, just kind of short of where we can go. We'll get them over there and we'll get the B-17s up as well um, because I just want as much uh, shipping in the air, sorry shipping, as much aircraft um, protection in the air as I can. We've got our carriers coming up here as well, our carrier group. Uh, we've got Bluefish making her way back to Rennell Island to protect there. Is she close enough to rearm? No. Okay, she keep keep going close. That we've moved um, Task Force 26 of Blackfish and Drum um, into this area to help out our task group who need to go back to rearm as well. But they might as well hang here for the moment while uh, Task Force 15 moves in. There you go, the spotter planes. I might just see if we got another spotter plane we can send up. Uh, nope. Okay. Not from her. Maybe from New Orleans. Yes. Good. Let's set over here. I just want to sort of to cover this area. Make sure we are covering here. Not a very good search pattern, but you know what? You get the idea anyway. Good, right. It's a beautiful morning. We've got enemy aircraft coming in. Where are they? There they are. Target them. Spot from Dewey at the front. They look like zeros, are they? Let's see in a moment. Where are they? Ah. Can't make them out. And in the morning sun, here they come. Attacking our line. Our ships do have anti aircraft guns on them. And at the end of that conflict, one of our Type C's got moderate damage and minor flooding. Right, meanwhile, Task Force 15 has unloaded all its cargo at Guadalcanal. And so we've got 5,700 troops and 5,000 supplies. Needs a bit more supplies. These guys need Nandy to get out of there. Head back down here as best they can. We've got some aircraft coming in. Now, we've got another task group. We've got some Avengers coming over. We've got the Avengers from... Um, Santa Cruz Islands. Also, I've sent some Dauntlesses, dive bombers, from the Enterprise. And what we could do, I suppose, is also... Oh, we have to wait another uh, 40 minutes. Get some um, fighters up over here to defend our guys. Meanwhile, our Avengers from Reynolds Island have arrived in the area. Um, they're on their own. The others are quite somewhere away. So we're going to go in for an attack. When we spot the aircraft. Oh, they're literally over here. I can't... There they are. Let's dive down. And in the pink issue of the morning, the attack run begins. We're going for the heavy cruiser. Any torpedoes that may miss, got a good chance of uh, going on to the light cruiser or the battleship behind. Torpedoes away. Torpedoes look like they're going to go long. We may get one hit. That's a dud. But three. Three torpedoes? Three torpedoes have gone on and may hit the battleship. Wasn't our intended target, but we'll take it. If 
we can get some scores on that battleship. Yay! One hit. A dud, go on. Make it two. Oh, nice! Two hits on the battleship. Fire is coming from somewhere. There's smoke arising. Confirmation. Moderate damage and moderate flooding to the battleship, but um, nothing more. Uh, our ship's just about in range on that one. We lost two of the aircraft. But before we can do that, they're sending the four zeros they have up against us. Kill a few men, maybe. Scratch the paintwork, smash a window or two, but it's not going to do any serious damage. But we shall see. Things don't always go the way you think. Okay, strafing the Car North Carolina. One's gone. Two's gone. Three's gone. More shore bombardment. There goes that airfield. Right, these guys are going to go back to Renal for resupply. Um, meantime, we've got the Dauntlesses coming over here, 12 of them, and they'll be picking um, their target there. And here we have it the Dauntless dive bombers finally in our arsenal. And we're going to go for one target and one target only. Okay, we're at yellow flight. Red and blue are going in to attack the battleship. We're just hanging back here for the moment. Maybe get a better angle. Maybe we should attack the heavy cruiser. Let's see how those two flights get on. Dive brakes open. Flight got hit. Okay, there's fires breaking out on the battleship. Yellow flight are coming in as the anti-aircraft fire is drawn to those aircraft fleeing the uh, conflict. Now the light cruiser switched attention to us. Now the battleship. More good hits onto the battleship. And at the end of that, the Congo was underway, but she's got critical damage and moderate flooding. We lost three of our 13 aircraft. That was a good attack. Meantime, our B-17s have arrived, which took off from New Hebrides some time ago. We've got some Zeros coming in. I'm not sure where these Zeros are coming from, um, because the air base, well, at Guadalcanal, has been destroyed. That'd be the 50 cals of our... Oh, we lost one B-17. One zero down. Two zero down. Three zero down. Four zeros down. Okay, we're diving down now. Lost what? Two aircraft? Maybe, maybe one. Right, there's the shipping over there. We are going to go for an attack on that battleship, trying to finish her off. Okay, here they come. Um, 
two other flight got lost and they seem to be in front of these ships but they're coming in from a slightly different angle. It must have been their flight leader got lost and they got slightly confused about what they were doing. But here come the B-17s. Uh, we've come around the back of them to get um, the destroyer moved in to protect the battleship. But she is slightly slow. The other guy should be coming in from here, which will draw some of the fire from the lead ships. Can we finish this Congo off? Okay, here are the other two bombers that still have um, bombs on board. Now, I've moved them, rather than doing the attack that they were, I've brought them all the way around. So you can see the battleship's been left on her top. So, if we can scoot around, we can have a clear run at her. Here we go, here's the other B-17. She's coming in to distract some of the anti-aircraft gunners, being very brave. there's the other two going in to make their delivery. One of the bombers is smoking. Come on, drop those bombs. Oh, I don't know if that's going to be enough. The guns have fallen silent though. Guns have fallen silent. Did both the bot B-17s get shot down? I think they might. Maybe that's why the guns fell silent. She's looking pretty far gone now, but we've seen their Lazarus-like repair crews manage to pick up ships from almost as bad as... Oh, God. She's got to have gone. Come on. Come on. Where's the klaxon? She's gone. Come on. Admit it, she's gone. Water is now lapping over the deck. Come on. That is never going to be recovered. But no, she's gone. Come on. Come on, game. Play fair. She's gone. Let me have it. I mean, come on. <laughs> come on. Uh, I'm going to take that as sunk. Yes! Yes! That beautiful sound of tortured metal tells us she's finally gone. It's been a hard slog, but this Congo class battleship is no more. And confirmation, the Congo-class battleship sunk for 32,150 tons. 32 command points. Nice, we lost six aircraft though, but I hate to say it, I would trade those six aircraft for a battleship any day. So as 10am rolls by on the 27th of September, our B-17s are up here. Got one left. He can return to base. Um, we do have some Dauntlesses from... The Enterprise, um, they're heading over there. Maybe they can have a hit at that heavy cruiser as they're up. Enterprise is down here and she'll stay down here. Uh, we're going to get Task Force 7 to rearm and she's probably going to come back up here with the um, Task Force 26. Um, get some more troops over here as well. Um, to try and get that on our side. We've got 37 command points. Do we have any? We've got um, engineering fuel down here. So... I might get this group, change of course, get down here, and uh, we'll get we'll get the ones damaged replaced with new uh, ships, and we'll get those reloaded with fuel and oil, and we'll bring them up here. Um, certainly help. Maybe we can get an airfield up here on um, 
Milator Island. That would be... Is there... No, there's nothing as yet showing there, but um, yeah, if we get airfield on here, then we can really sort of patrol this area. And with the Enterprise down here and Rennell Island as well. Plus, we've got the uh, Avengers from Santa Cruz who can sort of come in this bit of the um, scenery as well. So it's all kind of working well. If we can dominate this area, then we'll try and take Florida Islands as well. Nice. And then we push on up there to their home base, which is up here, is it? Uh, Rebuil, yeah, probably. P17 doing a um, reconnaissance over there. So, yes, we've certainly made some progress today. The fight is on to take Guadalcanal. Um, we've sunk a Congo-class battleship, um, plus some others, I think. I can't, I can't remember now. It's been it's been quite hectic today. Uh, if we have a look at the, well, it's getting quite long now, isn't it? Um, yes, we got a heavy cruiser and we got the Congo class battleship. Potentially the destroyer as well. I can't remember if that was today or, or last time. I think that was last time. So a heavy cruiser and a battleship today, which I'm quite happy with. And losses, nothing to report apart from some more aircraft, which is obviously letters to families and uh, folded American flags for their honour. Um, but yes. We go again next time. Thank you so much for watching. We now have a battleship task group and an aircraft carrier task group. Um, and hopefully that will allow us to dominate this area, as I said. And we'll pick this up again next time. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. As always, put your comments in the section below. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.